There are fresh pancakes currently being dressed by Aunt Jemima Syrup. I can smell it in the kitchen. And I can hear Mama dancing to the bacon popping on the skillet and love caused by Kim. Right now, there is still an atom of chemistry between her and Daddy. Enough to say that something exists, that she still exists. And this abstract reality of love and kids and work and work and work and marriage, what's left of it. I'm watching mama pour more buttermilk into the batter and stir. At that moment, I did not know that the slow strokes were because she was tired, drained. Weary from being the soil from which everything grows, no, all I could think of was how she managed to cook a full course meal, get me to school, go to work, pick me up from the bus stop, take me to dance, cook me dinner, do my homework with me, give me a bath, read me a book, and still get me in bed at a good time. My mama, my mama was the first image of black excellence I could remember had this superpower I didn't read in the comics. But when we moved away into our own apartment, away from daddy, I was confused, angry. Couldn't understand why mama ain't wanna be with daddy no more. Or, or why daddy ain't wanna be with mama no more. Mama stopped dancing to Kim in the morning. The bacon on the skillet had settled to a simmer. The pancakes were left undressed. Aunt Jemima left them to fend for themselves. Ma, mama don't cook like she used to. Filled that space with different obligations. She don't smile the same no more. Only got enough energy for them badass kids at work. Only got enough smile to get them through their ABCs. Ain't got time for us badass kids at home. But she still gives time to us badass kids at home. Still make sure we didn't eat. Still make sure we did our homework. Still make sure we talk to grandma and grandma. Still, still make sure she tells us she loves us. Yeah. And we might not say it back because we feel awkward about it or something, but she knows we love her back. Damn. I hope she knows we love her back. Because she be breaking her back.